Hey guys, so we're gonna go ahead and read chapter four. It's a very short chapter on Hound Dog True. Thump, 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 thump. Maddie peeks out the kitchen window, looks past the garden and up the rise. There is a girl out there, a tall girl, a teenager looking girl, standing up by Uncle Potluck's rock, holding a yellow tube box, staring down the rise to the, ba to the porch door thinking probably about the crazy baby person that she had just seen disappear behind it. Behind it. What is it, Maddie Mae? Have we got martyrs again? Uncle Potluck is standing at the stove, stirring something tomato smelling in a tall white pot. Martyrs? Asked Maddie. Uncle Potluck taps his spoons on the pot rim. Martyrs, villains, pirates, plunderers, profiteers set on thieving our valuables. Are they out there again? Maddie turns her eyes back to the window. The teenager looking girls walking around the rock and looking at the yard from one angle and then another. There's a girl out there, Maddie says. Does she have a peg leg? He asked and Maddie can't help from laughing. <laughs> no, she does not have a peg leg. He wipes his brow playing relief. Oh, probably just Crystal's niece then he says. Crystal Sweet rents the house out back. Always she's asking Uncle Potluck to come check on her thermostat or to look at her pipes, but really she just wants for her, she just wants for him to come look at her. Mrs. Sweet is sweet on Uncle Potluck, Mama says. Crystal called while you were out asking where my awesome niece Maddie was because her awesome niece Quincy had come to visit. She was the opinion that you two girls should hang out together. Hang out? Thump, thump, thump. She proposed that the two of you hang out. Yes, awesomely, says Uncle Potluck. Out at the rock, that girl, that Quincy, has set her toolbox down. She is fiddling with the latch. Maddie cannot tell if she is awesome, but she knows that she is not young. Like, she is not, but she knows that Quincy is not young. Maddie crosses her arms over her notebook and presses it to her chest. I can't hang out right now, she says. Not with a teenage girl like Quincy Sweet, who's right now staring down the rise again. Right now, probably thinking about how not awesome and not teenage Maddie is. Uncle Potluck nods. Okay, Maddie May, he says. You do what you need to do. I, for one, am simply relieved to know that the yard is not full of martyrs. I will sleep easier knowing that our valuables and are safe and secure. Maddie pulls her eyes from Quincy Sweet. Safe and secure. Maddie will sleep easier too. End of chapter. Bye guys.